Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health. And sorry about the dog in the background, can't really do much about that, but I just wanted to share this video with you today. I'm gonna to be testing this 2014 Subaru Legacy. Uh, so I am going to be using my Safe and Sound Pro 2 meter to test the radio frequency and my uh, Gigahertz Solutions NFA 1000 to test the magnetic and electric fields and then just a good old AM radio to test the dirty electricity. Uh, so I'm going to start just externally here. I'm in a parking lot so that I would um, not have any elevations of magnetic and electric fields hopefully and I do not. Uh, let's see what we have for electric. No, I'm holding this meter so it is gonna pick up my um, body's electric field, uh, but we're gonna just, you know, um, get a comparison to what it is inside the car. So when I, I stop touching it, you'll see I'm at about 3.3 uh, volts per meter, probably due to some power that's going to these homes here. And for the radio frequency, uh, I've got some cell, antennas nearby so I am getting about a thousand microwatts per square meter uh, it might be a little bit lower when I get inside the car and then for the dirty electricity get my AM radio here which is dialed to 5:20 a.m. Okay, so not too much static, and we'll see what happens to that static when I get in the car and turn on the ignition. All right, I am in the car. Uh, I'm gonna first start with the radio frequency here. Uh, again, you can hear the cell antenna in the background. I'm gonna turn this, the sound down. I'm gonna start the engine. And we're gonna see if we get any elevations which I do not, the radio is on. Um, now, with this model, I believe that this is the last year of the Subaru 2014 where you can actually turn the Bluetooth off and it goes off. Um, so most newer cars, many newer cars, have a Bluetooth function and even if you turn it off, it does not stop emitting. So if I go into the settings here, and I, let's see if I can, I think I can turn the Bluetooth on, which you can hear right away. I'll turn that up. And then I turn it off. And it'll take a second to actually go off, but there, there it is, so it went off. So that's awesome. Um, just turn that off so you can actually turn the Bluetooth off on this car which is great so no um, radio frequency elevations uh, with with this car perfect okay so now I'm gonna test the magnetic field all right so again um, I have point zero one and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the engine on. Okay, so it automatically goes up just from turning the engine on, uh, around 0.2. Now I'm gonna go around different areas of the car and I'm gonna flip the camera around here. All right, so on the console, near the radio on the steering wheel, on the floor of the driver's side. It's actually quite low for a car. Now if I get to the pedal, the gas pedal, it does go up to about two. 
Now I'm going to accelerate and brake. So when I'm accelerating, it clearly goes up to almost three. If I brake, it fluctuates just a little bit. Now let's see what it is on the seat. And if I accelerate a little bit of an increase, relatively low for a car. All right, this is the passenger side, so we're getting a steady three here. Almost four, yeah, definitely four, four and a half. If I accelerate, Hmm, it goes up to almost six. And if I break, so definitely higher um, for the passenger. Oh, wow, it's higher over here. So you can't see that, but it's about five. And then let's see if I put it on the seat. Now this car does have Uh, seat warmers, so I'm going to turn that on, and I don't see much of an increase for the magnetic field, which is cool. All right, now let's go to the back. Under one, on the floor. 0.7, go to the passenger, or the driver's side back seat, 0 0.4, 0 0.04, and 0 0.09. I know you can't see that, but not anything substantial. Okay. So not too bad uh, for the magnetic field, really. Um, so let's see what we get for electric. Wow, that's shockingly low, 0.4 volts per meter. It's up a little bit near the radio. One, I mean, this is a, you know, a, a vehicle with all kinds of wires and stuff going on. I would expect that electric field to be much higher. Let's see what happens if I accelerate or brake. There's like nothing. That's shockingly low, honestly. Really, really low. Um, can't really see that, but it's it's zero. Let's see what happens on the seat. 5.5, 5. let's see, I'm gonna turn the, he the heater on. Seat heater, nothing. Wow. Um, how about by the driver's side? Pedals, 1.4, 1.8. Accelerating gives me hardly anything. Um, let's see what happens if I turn the lights on. Sometimes that changes things. There's go. There goes my meter. So lights on. Not doesn't do much. Let me just double check the magnetic field with the lights off or on. Not much. All right. Go back to the electric field and let's see what's going on in the back seat. This is crazy. Um, it's really, really low. 2.4 to almost zero. Wow, um, almost zero. That's really, really good. Okay, coming back to the front. Sorry about all this moving around. I know that that's not fun to watch. Um, now, let's go to the dirty electricity. 
And again, I've got my little AM radio. All right, so there's our static. Which sounds normal. I'm not getting much. Test the back. See if I turn the radio on if anything happens. The radio is on. Um, I don't know, go to FM Radio. I'm Gemma Gaudet. Coming up tonight at 8 on Idaho Matters, a look at a photo. Lack of it, is it? Okay. I, I'm not really picking anything up. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm very pleased by this car, actually. Um, nothing really significant that I found personally for this specific car on the dirty electricity, nor the radio frequency, extremely low electric fields, and relatively low electric, uh, I'm sorry, relatively low magnetic fields. So that's great. I'm happy about that. Um, I would say that for a sensitive person, you know, there are still definitely fields happening here, but this is one of the lowest I've found in a car. So for a sensitive person, this could work. Um, of course, as a sensitive person, you are the best meter and so there may be things happening that our meters aren't picking up, so you always have to test. Uh, but this is definitely a car that I would give a shot. So yeah, I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you like this information, please hit the bell, hit subscribe, like it, all the things I'm supposed to tell you to do. And comments, concerns, questions, please leave them below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.